Excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm I'm trying to sell this mystery box for a dollar. Do you want to buy it? Sure. I need some money for, for my mom's medication. What are you selling it for? Um, for a dollar, just okay. a dollar. Yeah. Do you want to come sit right here? Here's Could you come two. sit sit right here on the rock for me? Like, can you see that rock right here? Here's two. You 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 gonna give me two dollars? Yeah. Really? I figured you probably need it. Oh wow. Yeah, I actually I'm doing a donation. Like, I need it for my mom's medication. And I went to so many people, nobody wanted to help me. I don't um, really just, want the box. You don't, wait. Sell it to someone else. You still don't want it? No. Oh my God. If you don't mind me asking, like, uh, where, where are you living right now? Where do you stay at? Um, right now I stay under the Mount Vernon Bridge. What does that mean? Like, are you, do you have a house or do you, are you living? No. You're, you're homeless? I live in the wash. In the wash? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Um, how long have you been living in the wash for? Um, I've been out on the streets. Uh, I've only been in the wash for the last year, but I've been in the streets for two years now. So you have been on the streets for two years. Mm -hmm. Got it. If you don't mind sharing the reason, what exactly happened? How did this happen? Um, I was actually clean and sober when I ended up homeless. Um, okay. I was staying in a house up on uh, Mill and Rancho right here. You were very, you were in a and house I, of what? I was staying in a house on Mill and Rancho. Okay. And uh, and then I what was happened? Working in, in Yukaipa. So you working in Yukaipa, and what happened after? Um, I was uh, I came home one day, and a kid that I was letting stay in the house because I was trying to remember where I came from and was helping uh, parolees get on their feet. Mm -hmm. Wanted to use my truck for something ridiculous, and I told him no, absolutely not. I got in the shower so I could get ready for bed, and. Uh, he stole my keys off of my dresser and took my truck. So the kid that was living in the house, you were you were renting that house or? I was renting it. So the kid took the, the tr my the, truck. Your truck. And what did he do with the truck? He went and did what he was planning on doing, and I was calling him and calling him and calling him and stress stressing out. Uh -huh. and in the midst of the stress, I got so angry, my blood pressure skyrocketed and I had a stroke my daughter found me on the porch not breathing oh my god I am so sorry so you had a stroke how are you feeling now um I'm okay now I try not to get mad about things but you at shouldn't at the time I was so irritated by him taking my truck mm -hmm. like I had to go to work the next morning how is that possible and I knew what he was gonna do was gonna get him busted wow and so this happened two years call, ago I wasn't able to call it in stolen because I like I said I collapsed right. Oh, wow. And uh, when I got back out of the hospital, my truck still wasn't back and I knew something was wrong. So I called the San Bernardino Police Department and called it in, stolen. Uh huh. At that time, they told me they had impounded it. It had been used in a crime. Oh, my God. Which I'm appalled that they didn't notify the owner of the vehicle because obviously the owner wasn't some dark little Mexican boy. Oh, my God. Because it was in my name. So... Why wouldn't they try to notify me that my car had been used in a crime before impounding it? Yeah, 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 definitely. They should have done that. They gave me a, a waiver on the release fee, but they couldn't get the impound to drop the charges for the impound. So so they put the charges on you? Yeah, all the fees no for way. the impounding. So they put all the charges on you? That, I mean, it doesn't make sense for them to do that. I know, it doesn't. Why should I have to pay for my stolen vehicle to be in their impound? So, so, so what happened after? Did were you able to get the car back or? No, I wasn't. So um, your car was gone. With me not being able to work. You lost the job. And my daughter not working because she was in a high risk pregnancy. Oh my I, god. Uh, I didn't have money to pay the bills, let alone the rent or the. So you lost the place too the, because you couldn't pay the bills right. and you couldn't have a job. Your truck was gone, and that feels like you lost everything in in a second. I did. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then the, the landlord uh, was in the middle of a lawsuit over the property and he, he lost the lawsuit. So we ended up having to move out 30 days later. Wow. So, I am so sorry what you had to go through. You know, I wish that no one have to go through what you have been through. And a lot of times people judge because somebody's on the street is just because of their, right. you know, Sometimes, addiction or something like that. But I feel like your story is really really different than than most of the people you know people and people don't realize that sometimes homelessness isn't brought on by drugs sometimes it's brought it leads to drugs right it does like i was a drug addict before okay but i had been clean almost three years when wow when all of this fell out and uh i tried to stay clean out of here but i woke up one day and 
there was a stranger in my tent trying to fill me up. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So now I'm back on mess because I'm afraid to sleep out here. I am so sorry. Hey, look, you Just know what? Two weeks ago, they tried to burn my spot with me asleep. Wait, you are sleeping in there and somebody tried to burn that tent? Yes. Oh my God. And what happened? Did they well, actually they burn it? Well, they had thrown the uh, uh, hand sanitizer bottle in. Um, and put like a lighter? It with was a light? lit on fire and it hit my foot and woke me up. Oh my God. But if it wasn't for them waking me up, that way, if they hadn't thrown it in like that, I wouldn't have been able to put out the fire. Do, do, you, know, do, you, do you know who saved you? God. God. He's I went the to only one. Challenge to get clean. God is the only one and, that I saved you. I, I take every day out here as an opportunity to serve Him. So. Oh my God! Do you believe in Jesus or do you believe in a different God? I believe in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that He, we are His people out here. He laid on a rock just like we do. Je, you see how you're sitting on the rocks right here? That's Sleep, how you used to. Sleeps in the dirt just like he we used did. to sleep in the dirt. He used to sleep on the road. Just so preaching I, to people. I embrace that every day and I don't look at my situation as a bad thing. I look at it as an opportunity wow. to, let people, to uplift the people out here instead of put them down. Okay. I think we have enough people out here putting us down. L let me ask you one thing. People right now that are having a financial hardship, they're not doing goods with their bills or they can't pay the bills, lost their job. What is a good advice or something you would say positive to them? Just keep your head up because... Uh, I truly believe that nothing in our lives happens by mistake. Uh huh. And that God's working in the midst of all of it. Right. So change your perspective instead of being down on your situation. Embrace your situation and find out what it is He's trying to teach you in it. Because once you, once you embrace what He's trying to teach you, things things start to rotate. Wow. Opportunities like this appear, and um, I was mad at first, and now I just. I you embraced, were mad about being in the street or yeah because i was serving him you know helping helping parolees get on their feet i was going out to homeless camps mm -hmm. on my days off and uh picking people up and bringing them home to shower no way and showing them that they didn't have to live like that oh my god and it was so easy to be you and, know and you just, did, did you ever think that one day your life could change and you could be in that situation i never dreamed i'd be back out here no you never thought of that right but when i was when i ended up back out here i was a little angry at first and then i just prayed one day i just hit my knees and i said god you know oh man help me use this as an opportunity to serve you wow make this a ministry on your streets we do ministry all over the world we send missionaries out all over the world. Yes, we do. Why can't homeless people live as an example of a ministry? Wow. We don't. Ha we forget all about our own country. Wow. And our own children that are starving. Wow. I try every day to make money by freaking doing everything legal, you know, recycling. I jump in and out of dumpsters, and I had a lady freaking tell her son, don't pay no mind to her. She's just trash. She, uh, oh my she's God. too lazy to get a real job. And I poked my head out and I said, I make as much as you do a day, lady. But I work twice as hard. If you think this takes laziness, I am so sorry. You got it. You got another thing coming. You think I like smelling like other people's old food? I am so sorry. Look, you know. But God blesses me in those dumpsters. No, no, no. You, you still want to pray for the enemies. You I do. Still want to pray for the people that persecute you. That's what Jesus had taught us, right? I do because and the world. It says clearly in the Bible, the world will not understand you, and they will tear you down and say bad things about you. But if you walk with your head up high and know who you are in Christ. Oh my God, you are. And I try to every day. You are so strong. Like you're one of the strongest ladies. Uh, one of the strongest person I'm meeting, you know, and I think that Jesus has a big plan for you Thanks. and the people that you're staying among Those people are gonna change through you and my family looks through down you. on me and says that I I chose to freaking be out here. I did because I didn't want to go to them no, and no. live in their homes and butt into their lives and make their lives harder and my hey, daughter, hey, hey. my daughter would have had nowhere to go because she, she was pregnant and they didn't like her boyfriend. So people I stayed judge with you. Her people judge you. People tell you understand. bad things. They don't understand your situation. They cannot imagine themselves in your shoe. Tell them to come and live one or two day, where you live. Tell them to do the things that you that do. They picking I up bottles. To they live can't. Out here and I kind of do. You do. You don't. I you... choose to do what God asked me to do, and when God gives me a way out, I'll take it. Right. But He hasn't handed me that way out. Right. And leeching off my kids is not 
my idea of the way out. Wow. This is this is really inspiring. I think a lot of people will actually understand your situation. A lot of people don't, but they will because again, we we as a human like I myself used to judge people like looking people on the street thinking, "Oh, nobody ever probably takes the time another to ask us why we're out here." Right. Instead of no asking knows. people why you are there, instead of saying, "Look, there's another drug addict," you know? Not, we we should change our mindset for homeless people instead help them if you can buy somebody a meal give them a couple I bucks I see people on petty and I ask them why do you use that why wow because I don't understand it I don't understand why so many people are allowing themselves to die on that stuff wow but and I need to know what their mindset is instead of judging them try to ask why 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 what happened why? how can we help you yeah or how can, can we help, help, you? help you get can we is there anything I can do to help you change the way you are the right. way your your decision making is Wow. Some of them are set in their ways, but some they listen and they and I watch them grow, and even though they don't get off the petty, they they you can see their persona change. Wow. You know what? This just talking to you just made me feel so good, and I feel like Jesus is inside all of us, right? He is. And, and we are blessed we just with have the same find. spirit in Him that rose Him from the dead. Amen. Amen. All right. So let me be honest with you. I went to so many people. Nobody wanted to help me. You're the first one that decided to help me after so many people so here's a mystery box look what it says here i want to go ahead and help you and bless you with that money there's there's cash in there yeah i don't think money's my way out wait you're saying money is not your way out no how how can we how what can i do for you then do you want me to like buy you a meal what can i do for you i think god says God says that money is the root of all evil. It's the love of money. And I don't love money. As long wow. as I have food and a dry place to sleep. Oh, a my warm blanket. God. I have my puppies. The swag team came out and was offering uh, uh, hotel vouchers. And I said, oh, I take a hotel voucher. You know, that way I can go back to work. Right. And pay my way on my own. Wow. I don't want to be gifted something. I want to work it through because God says it honest day's pay is worth an honest is an honest day's work i think i think just from this story your inspiration your teachings that you just gave reminder to people to think about their life a lot of lives are going to change so god bless you for this god bless you um if you, you, if you don't want to take it somebody yeah. who, who really will enjoy the money but wow that money will just sit on you my have shelf. such you have such a great heart can i just at, at least get I a hug is in motor home. <laughs> okay you want a motor home yeah okay god bless you okay have a blessed day Bless you.